What is it about your hobby that brings you all the way out here? <laughs> Call the Wild the Angler, obviously. What's going on, my friends? Good to see you all. Welcome to this week's Tackle Box. My name is Jack C. Beard. I am at home in my own studio, ready to rock. I haven't been able to touch this game since I went on my trip. And uh, I've really been looking forward to today. I hope everybody has been well. I haven't had a chance to catch up with all of you, although I've been trying. Uh, it's been uh, an awfully fun go the last little while. We've had so much going on, so much more about to happen. I'm super, super excited about it. I hope you guys are too, man. And you know some of what's coming. You know some of what's coming. We've We've been, you know, putting stuff sort of out there. You don't know when, but I can tell you that when is nigh. It is not that far. We will, um, I'm just gonna stop right there because I can't give you guys any information just yet because um, it's, uh, you know how the things go. I'm excited and you know when I get excited, it's time for you to get excited. We have a lot of really fun things lined up and more to come this year. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely some good fishing ahead. So I struggled on what to do this week. Oh God, that's a toast. <laughs> always hiding with that creepy mask why did we put that mask in this game seriously i feel like i need to like take the name tags off because <laughs> that would be beyond creepy jeez now that i've said that surprising has been doing it lately too <laughs> all right all right this all right okay okay i should expect it by now i really should we're here on Golden Ridge Reserve uh this week for King of the Catch is none other than the green sunfish Still looking for that I survived the gold green sunfish challenge uh, t-shirt to make it into gaming. You never know. At some point it may. Uh, and I'm, I was really on the fence. I was really on the fence. I was like, man, you know, we always go out and we do the king of the catch. But I haven't been able to touch the game in so long. I really kind of wanted to go to Spain. But we should go and at least toss our line a few times. See if we can get some, some gold green sunfish or better. Uh, we're, we're gonna go check out one of the diamond producing spots. Now, I do believe this spot may actually be, and I probably should have checked, uh, in the guides. If you haven't seen them in the resource hub, definitely go and check them out. There's, uh, there's a few locations you can head to. Uh, probably one of the best down by the dam, I've got to be honest, but I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the dam. If it was a bridge... Well, I might be a little more endeared to it. If you know, you know. But uh, th this is a spot I don't see a lot of people really hitting that hard and getting there that often. So we're just going to float on over and see what we can do. And how's uh, all of our console folks enjoying that last lovely DLC that landed? It's nice to get you guys, uh, getting you caught up to where we were on DLCs. And, and uh, you know, it's it, it's been a, a goal of our team. Um, just to get everything to where it needs to be. Lots of changes happening um, with the game itself, as you've seen, and there's more to come. And uh, we're, you know, definitely wanting to hit everything all together as we move forward. It's just a matter of getting that, that bit caught up so far. And that's been a big uh, necessity for the team. Look at the levels on these guys. Like, 104. Cappy, man, you're a legend. Doan, 96. Hey, are you, uh, you gonna come out this week, Tone? Or next week, I should say. Next week starts our Apex Hunter comp. With all the excitement happening last stream, I'm not even sure that I mentioned it. But yeah, we have our Apex Hunter comp, which is our yearly annual event. Uh, it's pretty dang cool, man. It's pretty cool. A lot of fun. We got some cool prizes again this year. That starts next Tuesday. We do our qualifiers. Qualifiers for the Xbox, which is on Thursday. Then Thursday, while on an Xbox... I have to somehow try and kill animals with a controller uh, and qualify for PlayStation, which will be the following Tuesday. And during that one, qualify for the Thursday stream, which will be for our PC players and our big announcement. So we're gonna go right here, right around this area, you guys. It's, uh, it's a tough, tough call if you wanna be around this point on either side. You can kind of work this area a little bit. It's a really good spot. So I'm rocking minnows right now. I got a size nine hook on. I just want to get something in the boat. Let's go get it in the boat. You're looking very dapper. All right, it's done, done, gone, disappeared. And he was on adding legendary fist to Agua's class. 
clear waters yeah we are actually uh very close to that in fact uh, that's uh that's one of the big things we're pushing to make happen as soon as possible as soon as devly possible i guess i could say we can coin that phrase uh we'll confirm that i will not deny it that that is uh very much on the heels with some more goodies that's gonna catch you guys off guard i'm just gonna say that i can't wait to be sitting here and going over it all together on a stream holy cow i wasn't even ready i took my hands off the controls <laughs> the purple hair beside me oh yeah i had to make sure because you know <laughs> it's 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 a streamer's worst fear oh well you know, black creepy i'll take the bronze i'll take it uh, it's always my fear that someone's standing over my shoulder uh was it were you talking to cappy about cappy it was in purple hair though what up Potowski? what's going on brother good to see you, my man any news on a new map oh no murph good <laughs> Hey, we just got spade, dude. <laughs> I mean, if we had a genie in a bottle on a shelf, perhaps we could request one to be made so quick. Now, map development is a massive undertaking for all of our games. Um, it's it's probably the one thing that takes the most time. Uh, and uh, I will tell you, there is stuff in the works already, but that's all I can tell you. Um, but no, definitely not anything to, to report just yet. We just got spayed, dude. <laughs> what up, Bulls fan? How you doing, brother? Tropic, what's up? Plenty of new sunfish hotspots there are. There really, really are. Texan boy, hello, welcome. What's cracking, my man? Welcome. Hunter Wheels, good, good day, sir. I'm glad that helped. I'm glad that helped. There's more you can do, too. There's more you can do. We can, uh, we can chat later about that. Is that time already? Is it done? What time? Fishing time? It's fishing time. I'm at it. I'm getting an invitation. Do I have call? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it is. We have to keep it. Oh, almost hit my button. Just hearing that noise. We got to keep it open to everybody. The Apex Hunter comp. We have to keep it fair. We do. We do. It's uh, um, we we do. I gotta see if this has changed. As we had offered. Oh, look what we got online here. Is that? A, it's a sturgeon. Um. Last year, we did invite back the champions for each platform. So I, I, but you know, things, things moving forward. I'm not sure. Let me, let me look into that just a little further and see. Um, it would be nice to invite our champs back to give them the chance to retain their title. That'd be one per platform. Last year we did it and we didn't have anyone respond. <laughs> Which was quite surprising. When can we expect new content? What about the daily and weekly challenges? Well, you just got new content. So like, if I may, <laughs> straight up, like, <laughs> it is ready. <laughs> you, you, you get the jest, right? You get the jest. We just got new content. However, I can tell you there is something right around the corner. <laughs> if there is something about to land, um, you know, we've, we've made no secret. We're bringing out the, uh, the, the stuff and things for Spain. That's going to be a big one, right? A lot of people are looking forward to that. Um, the, the current stable legendaries, we had an issue. We had an issue and it was tied in with a number of things. So we had to take the challenges and the legendaries down. Uh, they'll be back with uh, the next update, which isn't very far away. We had to, uh, we had to get a handle on things right away. And, and it was the only way we could get a handle on it. So let's get my DPI up a little bit. I'm getting all crappy. Just because the time of day, we'll move out of that here pretty quick. Will there be a competition feature in the angle? That is definitely something, Chris, that not only have we explored, we've looked very seriously at. Uh, our devs, when we've had them out, have even spoken directly to that point. It's something we want in game. There's things we have to achieve before we can bring that into game. There are certain features we need in place, um, you know, like we're we're just we're, we're just getting things like bottom fishing lined up. Um, so there's definitely things that we need to get in in place before we can bring competitions. Uh, and so, but we we want to, and that that is definitely. Um, I can I can I confirm and not deny that? I don't know. It's on the horizons. Let's say that we very much want that. Uh, it goes hand in hand with fishing right the competitions but there will be no lead weight dlcs um this will not not be think too soon was that too soon <laughs> maybe <laughs> oh man i got something on my pad here 
it's like my, my mouse pad goes right across my whole bloody desk it's huge so it's way out of the way but i try never to eat at my pc sometimes you don't have the luxury <laughs> you know and it looks like i got something it looks like chocolate. I'm not supposed to eat chocolate, so <laughs> I gotta get rid of the evidence while we're live. That's fantastic. It bothers me, okay? Things have to be neat and orderly and in their place. I'm a freaking Virgo for the love of Pete. I'm still wearing my, my, I love this. I absolutely love this mask, and I'm not even sure that I can take my Halloween gear off. I'm just not sure I can do it. Honestly, I think it's one of the best cosmetic additions to any of our games. I freaking love it. Now, I could change my bait, right? And if I did, what time is it? It's 5.36. Well, we're about to roll over. But uh, we're getting those nocturnals really hitting right now. I'd love a tent so we can sit and fish in, Jax. Yeah, a tent would be cool. A tent would be cool. You know, there was a time when the game first came out. People wanted, wanted tents for a couple reasons. A lot of these folks, it was a crossover from our other game, The Hunter. Uh, and the tents over there are used primarily to fast travel to and to change time. And so we had these requests, and of course the team, at the time we realized, like, could you imagine trying to have a time change feature when it's a live service and it's server-based? And at the time we had said, no, this will never happen. But it's something the team has really been looking into because it's, it's asked for a lot. And that went hand in hand with tents, and we started looking at, well, tents, how can we do tents? Fast travel points would be cool. But we don't currently have those systems. I know you think, well, we have a fast travel. Well, we do two pre-designated designed fast travel points so there'd be more of a challenge to it than just adding them um we wouldn't want to just add them and not have any functionality but it is something that has been being looked at because uh there, there's a big request for it right what are you what do we got what do we got you get a very good look there is that another sturgeon no i didn't look like a sturt no we got ourselves a brook trout did we swap over times here need santa hats and beards for christmas now Big Bubba, I, I can neither confirm nor deny that we have anything planned for Christmas, but you've seen what our team has done so far. There's always that possibility, right? <laughs> There's always that possibility. <laughs> I've said nothing. Are they going to add any bait cast fishing in Spain? Um, you, you know, so like the main thing with Spain is 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 bottom fishing that's where the map is mostly designed around it's our, our reasoning for the big push to bring out bottom fishing in fact truth be told um i've said this before we wanted the two to go hand in hand on release but our devs didn't want to release something that wasn't ready and and they did not feel that bait casting was ready yet so bait casting is going to greatly change the feel of spain if if the community still feels there's a need um, to add more towards bait casting, uh, you know, there has to be the logic behind it, right? From what I've seen, and forgive me, I'm I'm a hobby fisherman in British Columbia. I, I don't I don't get overseas to fish, but everything over there does appear to be mostly bottom fishing related. Mostly, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. But uh, those that's exactly something I would love to see. If you haven't already, I haven't seen it in there. Maybe I missed it. But uh, adding it into the suggestions tab in Discord. How we doing over here, guys? I'm going to turn and face you guys a little bit. Wow, that's gorgeous over here. Of course, Cappy's got something on the line. Always slaying. If we can Halloween, we can Christmas. <laughs> we have the technology. A proximity chat would be great. I agree. Slower night times would help with targeting the nighttime fish, too. Aspen Doisa, my friend, I hear you. The nighttime got changed because of the community voice. It, it did. Now, granted, back then, we didn't have that nocturnal trait. Um, so maybe there's a need to relook at it. We have since lengthened it out, uh, but uh, I do hear you. I do hear you. You're a PS4 player and you still can't get on. I'm not sure what that would why that would be, Scott. Now, I'm, I'm not QA. I, I'm not our quality assurance, so I please if there's something listed in the uh in the known issues that I've missed, I don't mean to say anything otherwise to it, but um I, I do see a number of our PS4 players out there fishing. Dang, I hate to hear that. I hate to hear that. I'd recommend if you haven't already to make a 
um, a post to the support forum within Discord. A submit a ticket is always, you know, ace because it goes right to the team. Uh, and if there's an issue, it can help identify it and get a fix out there. Our team's very good at getting fixes out right away, as I'm sure you guys have seen. Um, they're 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 committed to making sure that everything is running and working for everybody. Because man, it's hard, especially being cross-play, having the same client across all these platforms, making sure everything is running all as should be. It's easy for things to go wrong on one platform when they hit the live environment. We'll take your bass. I'd like to raise you a green sunfish, however. We'll go a little bit longer here, then I think we'll bounce spots. Let's just get the wall lower there. Okay, there we go. Who's out there already? We got Bungus out, my man. What about our newest mods as well? If you guys haven't met Bungus, um, Cappy as well. I think you've met Cappy. He's been a mod for a little bit. Actually, you guys, we're, we're modded pretty close to each other. Um, mods in our in our Angler Discord, which uh, I'm really happy with with the, the environment in there, man. Everybody's friendly, super helpful, and it's largely due to these folks right here, super involved in the community. You'll find them out and about. Uh, I'd say don't be shy to say hello, but it's not my place to do that to them. I always laugh when I see uh, I, I've been in servers and. Is that the Wilson from Discord? <laughs> and then the memes show up. Wilson with his ball. It's, it's a movie reference. Yeah. What up, Wolf? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, my man. We had a new fish to Spain. Not right now. Spain just came out. Um, we're always looking at to, to backfill, though. That's something we like to do in both of our games. We've already had a good backfill here on Golden Ridge Reserve. Um... You know, I, I, I can't speak for the direction of, of where the team is going to backfill next, but I personally feel like uh, you would see Norway get a little before anything else just due to, re you know, the release pattern we've had. But uh, I could be wrong on that. That's that's not coming from our devs. That, that's coming from some rounded bearded guy who gets to uh, live on both sides of the curtain. <laughs> Did you love watching the Northern Lights in Norway? Ah, oh, it's great, isn't it? They nailed it. Like They, they nailed it. <laughs> Got some monster trout right there. Spain needs purge for sure. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely some that we could fill in. It's tough, I will tell you, because I've seen it right from day one with with this game. Um, I even see it in the hunter. You know, there's equally as much time that goes into the planning. Uh, about species and locations and the lore and 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 the terrain and everything that goes into a new reserve as there is creating that reserve now we have people in different different di different disciplines that are doing this right like you know our animators aren't working on lore for example that sort of thing you guys have met ben you guys have met ben he's, he's a bloody legend I, I mean you can see how how dedicated he is so when when it comes down to like a lineup they all have to be involved in this and it's it's hard on what do you bring in and what do you admit like perch on spain tough one tough one right so i would say that you know at some point there's a very solid chance that you'll see a lot of especially the popular fishing regions um, you know, engine permitting, of course, the, you would see that stuff make an appearance. I really, guys, you know, oh my god, it was incredible. I I documented my journey on my own silly little TikTok that don't expect much from it. And every time I go on a trip, I'll be putting it on there. Um, and I have some stuff I've been sitting on. But getting to meet the devs... Like, I deal with them all in a virtual space. And I see the, the 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 involvement, and I can see the passion there. But man, when I got into the studio, and I mean everybody knows what everyone is doing and what's going on. They're all so intertwined, and they're all so close because they work so long together. Look, we all have been in those jobs where you have like you know your 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 job husband or your job wife. <laughs> You know, you end up with best friends with these people. Um, and to see that, like, they are exceptionally close because they're in it together. Seeing how this stuff comes to life, and I got to see some things, man, is mind-blowing. It's so... Ah, I, I really, really, really want to be able to pull back that curtain. And uh, we'll see. We did some recording there. I don't know what's going to make it to fruition and what we can do with it. Um... 
but like because we're talking about the species here this is what's driving this conversation for me right now and i'm being so careful what i say L lining up the species on that on 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 the future reserves when i saw the consideration going into that i don't know how they I honestly don't know how they make the final decision i i truly truly don't i would not want to be on the board <laughs> to decide which ones to include and which ones not that is tough because we're ruthless as gamers <laughs> we are we are ruthless as gamers you all know what i'm talking about right how do you make that call to appease all of us they've done a really good job thus far and seeing the next reserve and what they've done there i think people will be really happy with it um but as with anything it, it comes down to I go, will there be backfills? Where, what, what's the intention? Where is it going? So we'll try and keep you guys appraised as things go, as we move along and as things become more talkable, as we're able to discuss more of it. Uh, but you're in the right place. You're in the right place. Maybe we can tease one of our uh, our devs to come out because they've all been enjoying coming out here, hanging out with you guys. You guys have been pretty awesome for them. I got to tell you. Yeah, just like yesterday, we had a dev out over on the Hunter Street. You guys crushed it for him. Like, he was so nervous. I, which is natural. Stepping in front of, you know, hundreds and, and which turn into thousands of viewers, right? Like, we have hundreds of concurrent at the time. And then thousands watch it after the fact. But everyone made him feel so welcome. And, and it's even more so to the point here in the Angler. When we've had our devs out, like, they're hooked. They're hooked. Don't be surprised if they take over the streams on me, dang it. <laughs> Oh, man, I kind of rambled there. Let's see. Any plans on adding different fish to the maps we already have? We always have plans. Yeah, it's also it's time permitting. And they have to be able to work out this stuff in between content, planned content. Um, you've seen here at Expansive Worlds, we keep up a pretty ferocious pace. There's no other way to describe it. When you compare to other games, um, it's always kind of been our M.O., to try and keep the content flowing. Uh, and and you've seen that here in the angler. It's very much been the thing. I really enjoy just hitting all these different fish right now. I gotta be honest. I'd love to get some tokens here. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Freaking nudge, nudge. I need tokens, man. I need all kinds of tokens. Will we get rod holders soon? Soon, like I'm just gonna be straight. Not soon, as in not this year. Um, the rod, rod holders are are. Uh, I mean, I'll just be honest; they're a priority for our team. They're more difficult than one would think. Um, you know, you guys see a rod in game, and you think you just make a holder and put it in, but like it's not that simple. We don't even have movement when a rod is is active just yet and these are actually big systems that need to be coded from the ground up so i i can tell you this much the team they more than heard the community Hello, I'm down at Silver Strat really now, must we listen here clay i know where you live i actually do i creepily enough I... <laughs> um, but uh rod holders are very much on the high priority list they know how that will change the feel and the flow of the game. Uh, and especially with something like bottom fishing, even float fishing, even a, even rod holders in the boats, they understand this. So um, fret not, but it's, a, it's all a development process. Am I confirming we're getting it? No, but I'm also not denying it. Come on. I thought it was going to be a juvenile. Like, I wouldn't even waste an egg with that, okay? Like, for the love of Pete... Hold on, I gotta double. I gotta double check. I got hit with a ping. Did I say something wrong? You yeah, hey. And my phone rings. While I'm live. People should know by now. Okay, no, we're good. I know we're good. I will double check that once we're out. That will submit it in nice. Uh, can confirm green sunfish are here in this exact location. If that, were you talking to us? Yeah, they're just, uh, they're not as plentiful. And I'm hitting everything else. Fortunately, minnow is their nom nom of choice. 
Uh, and uh, unfortunately, it doesn't always pan out. Yeah, this is so anywhere from here down to here is uh, is your range. It's pretty much this point to this point, right? But uh, we'll move down a little further. It's hard to isolate because so many of these fish love what we're grabbing. Oh, oh nice pike. Looks like a pike. Got a pike. You got a pike over there. Yeah, bloodworm's a good one for them too. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few options for them. Their preference is the minnows, but other fish like the minnows as well. So when you start to toggle through, what's not going to hit what? Um, I'm personally just wanting to pull fish after fish in here. I, 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 I don't care. <laughs> yeah, we'll move over, Cappy, as soon as I pull this one in. We'll move down a little further. Got a perch on. When was game hit console? Um, it's been out on console for some time now. Welcome to the Angler, my friend. You can check it out. Uh, it's If you're on Xbox, it's on Game Pass. We we're really, really pleased about that. Really pleased about that one. We're just gonna slide on in her. Hey oh Well we have our own house so we can show our fish, our fish to mates. We we don't know what that's gonna look like. I can neither confirm nor deny, but the team has really strongly been looking at um ways to to retain to show trophies whether it's a trophy lodge an aquarium uh, whether they're floating through the sky on demand we're not sure the best way in which this will would would, would work you know um it's it's a big feature it's something that the team wants to do right i don't want to rush it but uh it's always a conversation with the team too what did we get? What did we get? I can't even see it. Hope they're eventually adding fishing tournaments to this game. It is our intention to get tournaments rolling at some point. Forcible. Oh, Cappy, where's your diamond? Ha ha ha. Robo, what's going down, brother? I will hit the fish if I... Oh, no, I won't. No, I won't do that. <laughs> what up, baby? How you doing? Welcome. Good to see you. Bunker Bud, what's up, my man? What's cracking? Great to see you in chat, dude. It's it's my mask. I'm scaring them all off. What's that, Flano? It's going to be a problem meshing the bottom of lakes in after you have designed tackle already. A reel that hold 80 meters of line would be useless. Going to be a problem meshing the bottom. How do you? How do you? I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not following what you're suggesting there. Um. The when the maps are made, there's there's different planes and different levels, and the bottom of these lakes are already a thing. That's not being created. Uh, the the features on how they're they're fishing and whatnot are, you know, like look, bottom fishing in 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 my opinion is is very similar to what um to what float fishing is except we're working at a deeper depth right so uh we're actually did i just get one huh. another crappy creepy we are pulling all the fish up we're slaying here right now but we're not hitting what we want to hit oh hold on let's just make that cast too slow let's drop this right down good to see you md how are you my friend what up over mix welcome welcome brother I, you know, lots been going on. Lots been going on. I got to uh, head overseas. I went to Liverpool and met all of our incredible devs there. And, uh, you know, we had a really good time. It was a really good time. There was a lot of business, too, though. Like, we were working while we were there. We had uh, the Wilderness Pack came out, which was really cool. Fun to be able to sit shoulder to shoulder with everybody during a release. Normally, I'm nine hours removed, and um, I'm on with the NA audiences on and, and, and stuff. So that, that was pretty cool. Um, I'm no stranger to Britain. I've actually, I grew up spending my summers in Ireland and actually in Liverpool, funny enough, we used to take the ferry across at which 
I was stunned to see that the office is right by there in Albert Docks, which is a historical landmark that uh, I'm sure when I was young, I was through there. Like, I remembered seeing certain things, but I just so long ago, you know what I mean? Let's, uh, let's pull this bass. Looks like a bass. Um, so it was a lot of fun, and it was great getting to meet all of the devs and sitting next to them, watching them work, watching them as they create these, I mean, dare I say fishing masterpieces? Because there's like there's no other way to describe it. How else do you describe it? Each reserve has its own flair, and seeing how they do that, and, getting, and, and, and it was also the after-work stuff that I appreciated, really getting to know these folks. Um, we had an incredible dinner, all of us out, and then, and then some of us went out afterwards, and uh, actually it was a birthday of one of our co-workers, and it was just a great time, and really got to know everybody. I, uh, it was very sad leaving, but then I went from there over to Stockholm, which it was great to be back. I have a sweet spot for Sweden. I, I really do. I have a very soft spot in my heart. Uh, I, I fell in love with that place on my first trip there, and... You know, although I was with my family on the first go, this second time round, it was a whirlwind. I was only there for a couple of days. It was an in and out, but getting to see all the team again. And a lot of the team that I hadn't gotten to see on the previous trip, uh, I got to sit with a lot of our devs. And uh, it, it's, it was just so incredible. It really was a great experience, but um, good team building and really un learning to understand what the other disciplines in our company do and the walls that they're up against on a daily basis, the, the obstacles they have to overcome, gives me a, a better understanding, which in turn, when I'm talking with you guys, I can explain things better too, as I learn the processes better, right? Just about called the wild on PC right on, LMMT. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, good to have you with us. Yeah, it, it, it looked like, yeah, it came out, uh, we released on console. Oh goodness, this a, it was a while ago now. It was back in summer, right? It was back in summer, so. Um, it's, uh, it, 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 wow, it blew things up. Our, our console community was so passionate. Um, if you're not in the Discord, come and get involved. Hey, we run a, a weekly competition called King of the Catch. It's a lot of fun. Of course, it's for all platforms. Uh, you'll actually meet a lot of your fellow fishermen. A, a very good portion of the folks you will encounter in the world are already in Discord. And a lot of them are hanging out in the voice chats and in the general chat. And uh, it's just a great place for information as well. A lot of, uh, a lot of resources in the resource hub. Like, tell you a little bit about everything. Um, it'll tell you what fish will bite, what size hooks, what's the preferred baits, what baits will actually hit. Locations where you can get diamonds. Um, there's guides out there. Big shout out to Lenny. I just saw he put a lot of work in on the latest guide that was posted there. Much appreciation, brother. I love seeing the community coming up with this stuff, but, uh, you know, Wilson had a really good ad there. It was great to see. Great, great, great to see. Is it going to be true bottom fishing game, like a weight and stuff? Yes. In fact, you guys are about to get it. Bottom fishing, um, the legendaries for Spain, all the good stuff are all, they're, they're all in the works. They're all on their way as we've, we've put out there previously. Uh, I'd love to give you the date. That's where I'm like, <gasps> every day. Then <gasps> <gasps> the team's all like this too. Can we, oh, no, but we, we have to cross certain hurdles. We have to hit certain beats, as we like to say. Certain things we need to um, have checked off the list before we can give those solid dates. Because we made an omission a long time ago not to break a promise. And by giving a date before we've hit these certain things, which can take it right up to the line, right up to the, almost the 11th hour, um, there's always that chance of breaking a promise. So what am I referring to? Well, we've talked about it before. Everything's got to go through certification. But even before that, it's got to go through all of our own our own internal stuff. We need to make sure that everything is working properly. Um, even even after all beta testing and even after we've done all, it's, it's, it's the final passes and then it's all got to be tiddled up with a bow on top. You know what I'm saying? Um, so as has been a way, sometimes you don't get a lot of notice right before it releases. I'm just saying, it's because we're trying to push it as quick as we can for you, but we don't want to put something out that is broken. And I know, yeah, bottom fishing, um, like, uh, I've, I've been using it, I've been, I've tried it, and it's exactly as I, as I would expect it to be. 
it's nice to have that technique and to have the the differences that it will bring uh it's not like this huge game altering feature Ooh, it's bottom fishing it's, it's not like we're getting airlifted in by a helicopter and dropping a line <laughs> although that would be a lot of fun i'm just gonna say uh <laughs> Don't need as long as it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yes. Yes. Very soon, my friend. Very soon. Thank you for that. Chico, what's up, brother? Good to see you, my man. Ru, hello, sir. Welcome, dude. Good to see you, Lady Nibiru. Hello, hello, and welcome. Caitlin's in the house. What's up, Caitlin? Good to see you, Mr. Crow. What is up, Scarecrow? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, my dude. Welcome, welcome. How are you? CJO's in the house. I, you guys have been chatting. I've missed so much. I'm like in a bubble here right now. I'm, uh, I'm having that. Um, I, I feel like I've, like I've been home for a little bit. I came home and brought the flu. Yeah, my whole family's got it now, except for my daughter. My daughter is now, but my wife and my son are laid up in bed at the moment. It was nasty, but uh, I don't feel like I've been home until we've, we've all had a chance to get out here on these streams. These streams are home for me. And I, we got the hunter one yesterday. Now we got the angler today. I'm feeling a whole lot better. I'm in my own skin, baby. Feels right. Any plans to make jig fishing more of a thing? Ever see promoted as a go-to for any of the guides? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, that could be more of a refined feature, right? It could. It could. It's something I, I did a lot as a kid. I uh, did a lot of jig fishing. right off the docks which is a lot of fun you know um I, I would say that there's is there a chance of it yes there's absolutely a chance i know the goal of the team is to bring as much and as many fishing techniques as possible like it just comes down to where do we put our energies what do we focus on first right we can't do everything all at once um we'd love to but we can't but uh i'm gonna uh i'm gonna move to the back of the boat here and push more towards this point. I mean, they move funny here and there's not like a ton of green fish here. It's, it's, it's hard to sort through the other population that's lurking around there. Will we add fly fishing eventually? So and we were just talking about that. We absolutely want fly fishing. Um, and I, I will tell you, it's something the team has already looked at. Um, there's a reason why games don't tackle that. <laughs> Pun intended. Yeah, it's uh, it, it looks like it would be a tough one. So that would be something that would really need a lot of love and time to go into it. I can't say they've started. I can't say they haven't. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I would love to give you a confirmation of this. But um, I hate being so aloof, man. But you put me in a tough spot. <laughs> you know, I don't want to ignore the question. But I also, I, I can't divulge things until they're at a point where I'm allowed to divulge things. But you can see just from the Discord and what gets upvoted the most and what's the most popular on what our devs will be tracking because that's honestly one of the biggest sources of feedback that we have, period. And we're on every platform, you know? Uh, but some people will put things on a random message on Twitter or uh, X, Elon messaging. I don't even know what to call it anymore, man. The, that that thing formerly known as Twitter. They'll put comments on there and like those slip under the radar. So we made a decision to double down on our Discord community and it's been a blessing. Um, through that, I actually formed the Player Council, which uh, the Player Council has been just an absolute blessing shout out to all of you all of you each and every one of you player council members that are so involved and so helpful um and, and i see them honestly you guys it's it's we have the voice of our community and then we also have the voice of our community if you're picking up what i'm putting down these folks echo what you see in the discord because they're they're part of it they're in the midst of it they are the player's voice but we look beyond that as well, and that, that's in the feedback section, you know? Um, okay. This is it, Wolf. Oh, man. Good to see you, brother. Why isn't your name yellow? We're going to do that. Stick to the script. Oh, God. 
I wouldn't do well if they gave me a script. <laughs> what up, bro? Good to see you, brother. Yeah, fly fishing would be great. Yeah, it really would, Lady Nibiru. It's tough, and uh, I'm not a fantastic fly fisherman, but I really do enjoy it. Um, I, I I have caught my friend's hand in my hook, though, and I, I'm, I'm not even going to lie about it. Not the best fly fisherman. I, uh, it's it's a solo sport for me. <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, I thought you had something in your hands there, Bungus. But um, it, it, it definitely is a challenge. You, you want to get it right, right? Fly fishing in Scotland would be great. So many locks that could... I would love that. I really would. Does EW watch the subreddits for the games? We do. Oh, yes, we do. Um, you know, our, our own Reddit is not... Uh, it's, it's, it's not as busy as I would have thought. Because Reddit's such a great place. Um, but I'll tell you, the folks that are involved in there are very involved over there and have been a blessing for feedback. You know, they really, really have. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you look a decent size. I thought so. I will take that. Yes, sir. During the day to boot. Let's freaking go. Give me all your tokens. Oh, right, right. A, a green sunfish. Yes. I'll take two more of those, please. Just saying. Hey. Really enjoying experience of the game, not just the gameplay itself, but watching it develop and evolve. There's definitely some passion during this project. The bread, thank you, my friend. We try to show that as much as possible. Oi, oi, oi! Oh, it almost caught me off guard on that one. We do, we do. Um, I'm sure other developers are passionate about what they do. This angler team lives and breathes it. When we went out, when we went out, okay, and this is like team bonding, right? We're outside of work now. We were all talking work and everyone was so animated. Some of us were like red in the face because we were talking so exuberantly about it. See that passion? You can't buy that. Okay, I'm gonna say too much. I'm gonna give away too much and I'm sure I'm gonna embarrass some of our developers, but I just can't say enough good out of what came out of that trip for me. What I retained from that, what I took home. It was, uh, yeah. Money can't buy that, man. Just can't. I'm on PS5 and I love this game. And all the YouTubes that play it. Nice, Luke. Please support all of those creators. It is a game in its infancy and that is often hard for, for creators. I, I find that a, a lot of established creators will often shy away from something that they don't get the big views on. But we have the, we, we have the players in the game to support those views. So I urge you, Support your content creators. Uh, you've seen it in The Hunter, if you're a fan of The Hunter. The the content creators over there, they fueled that community. They fueled that game, in my opinion. And I want to see that happen with the anger, because this game is made for streaming. I freaking love to stream this game. It is, it's, it's not just fun gameplay, but to actually stream the game. Like for our streamers in the audience right now, for our creators in the audience, that we've got a good handful of them at the moment, right? You'll know what I'm talking about. There's just something that jives so well with the outdoor games, especially with the fishing games, with streaming, with that real-time chatting, like what I'm doing right now. I can look in between our catches and it just go, oh, and then you get you, your conversation interrupts with a big fight. I freaking love it. I love it. I love it, I do. Okay, the streamer me is talking. I need to move away. Back to questions from community, because that's just easier. I'm, I'm like going down a strange rabbit hole here. What up, Moose? Good to see you, brother. You should do a dev trip to one of the uh, France's huge waterways. Oh, man, the Orient of St. Cassian. Be a real eye open. That would be amazing. Flano. France has um, been high on my must. It's on my must visit list. I have a lot of friends that have made it through there. I wish we had a studio in France. I'd have an excuse. <laughs> hey, anybody at work watching? Can we open a studio in France, please? That would be a dream. Um, but yeah, you know, it's funny because we've talked about that. It would be great to do, um, you know, team trips to some of these locations and uh, to be able to, you know, actually physically 
get our lines in the water and try it out. That would be awesome. I've been plugging for that for years. Like, I think that I should go ahead of time and hunt and fish the prospective locations. For, and then I could live stream while I'm doing on the EW channels. It's a win-win, right? For research and development. Yeah. I'll bring all my own gear. Uh, <laughs> I recommend using the control lens game even on PC haptic feedback as it does it does so now let me tell you when I'm playing off stream which I haven't had a chance to do since my trip um, but when I'm playing off stream I am always sitting with my controller because first off just to being able to sit back kick back relax, climb my chair you know controller in hand something not water in hand. That alone lends to my fishing experience. But that the the recent I guess well, I shouldn't say recent. With console being added to the game, we got the haptic controls and it's worth buying a gamepad if you don't already own one. It just changes it, man. It changes it when you feel uh, on the response. So yeah. Lady Nibiru, what a fantastic, absolutely fantastic suggestion that uh, if you are new to the game, even if you're on PC, strongly consider it. It wasn't necessarily made for controller, but I feel like this game was made for controller. I'm only on my mouse and keyboard when I stream because I have multiple monitors. I need to constantly flip and do things. Flip and do things. Who says he was fishing earlier, trying to avoid the hatred for Euro Perch and Green that you have? Oh, no, dude. They need love too, dude. They need your love. Joy Spain, but trying to finish up on Troll Sport. Girlfriend's working on a rep for the souvenir shop. So all in all, enjoy the game. Love to hear it, dude. Love to hear it. I, You know what? You're. I think you're doing it the right way, personally. I genuinely do. Um, you'll actually find a lot of folks in the community will do this. They, uh, they'll go through and try and complete a reserve before moving to the next. I, I don't know if it's just that I have the ADHD thing going on. I bounce around. <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm guilty of it. But uh, I admire those that can stick to one and get it done. Really do. Playing it on the Steam Deck. It's great on there. And, you know, we don't officially support the Steam Deck. Reason being is there's a lot of checks. There's things that you need to do. Um... But y'all saw, if you remember, when PC released, it was playable on Steam Deck. Then an update happened and it wasn't playable. And we realized that we just couldn't commit to being certified on the Stream Deck. But so many of our devs play on the Stream Deck that they've been doing the dev things needed to keep it going. And it's been working ever since. I want to buy a Stream Deck. Oh, God, I could have used that. My flight would have been so much more entertaining. You know, nine hours the one way, ten coming back. <sighs> can I get can I get a stream deck from work? Is that I it's like it's like I'm in the office and they can hear me. I don't know what the heck's wrong with me. Maybe I'm talking to my wife sick in the bed upstairs. <laughs> hey, can I can I get a stream deck for Christmas? I have kids, I don't get presents anymore. Oh, that would be great, man. It really would. I have this on PS5. I play on the new PlayStation Portal handheld. Oh, oh, cool. What do you, uh, what do you think of that? The PlayStation Portal handheld. I really haven't looked into that. Do you know what just impressed me? So with the Apex Hunter comp coming up next week, uh, I have to jump onto each platform to host it. Now I have a PS4 Pro. It's an old, older, it's the last gen, uh, but it's, it's, you know, a little, little more robust than just the regular ps4s thankfully and it'll it'll hold up it'll hold up well but i have an original xbox one that will not hold up well and i'm like what do i do here what do i do i, I gave my my son has an xbox one um i don't even remember i got i got lost on calls a while back but i didn't have a good option for it and uh man the cloud gaming it's how i'm gonna host the the xbox stream it's uh it, wow i love that they do that i I'm, i was so out of touch with it you know and our qa actually suggested it to me because i was a little stressed i wanted to be the best experience for everybody right especially if i'm hosting 
And, uh, you know, the last, the, the old gen hardware, it's, it's, they struggle these days. And I, I was concerned. So yeah, if you guys, if you haven't done so, if you check, check out the cloud gaming, man, you know, you have to have your, um, Xbox live Xbox game pass ultimate for it to work, but it's pretty cool feature, man, man. I don't even think we're going to get one of these, but we're getting lots of fish. So I ain't complaining. Where'd you go? Wolf. Did we lose yet? There he is. What you got? What you got? It's his bait. It's my bait. Thought he was teasing me. Looks like you just holding a fish there? No, it's just teasing you. Let's try across the uh across the waterway this time. They could be moving all through here. I'm just determined I'm gonna catch a sunfish in this spot now, man. Jeez. I use controller for both the hunter and the angler. It works great. Amy, you are a brave soul. I have so much respect for those that can play the hunter on gamepad. I have such a hard time with it. I used to be really good on gamepad too. I played all the first person shooters on gamepad. It was my preference. In fact, when Apex came out, Apex, I, I played a, I play a ton of that. I used to play a ton of it. And uh, I was playing on gamepad on PC. I think it's great, especially when sick and bedridden. Oh yeah, I bet. Chins, I bet, yeah. I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna have to look into that because I, I do want to get the next gen consoles. I think everybody is trying to move into the next gen now. There's a lot of games that aren't even being supported over there. Um, so I and and I like the exclusives, you know. So I'll have to look into that. Ah, Joseph. You know what? I, I will pass it along to other creators as well. There's a number of them in here right now. A lot of great creators in here right now that are seeing that. But thank you, Joseph. It, I, I don't do videos anymore on YouTube. I may someday return to it, but people like we have some real up and comers here, man, like Broba and CGO and stuff, but like Scarecrow and, and Ron are in the audience, some of our partners. I can tell you, I I know what they go through. Making a, a VOD, it's a lot of work. It really, really is. Um, doing all the editing and the upload and the thumbnails and, and you know, and it doesn't stop there. And so, yeah, yeah, it's... It, Big, big, big round of applause to all of our creators and the time they take. Man, they do it for all of us. What about for lures? What about Matowski? Oh, I read your comment too far back. I don't know. Hit me again, brother. Oh, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Didn't even see. What was that? We'll take the bass. It's not his fault he has a small mouth. No mouth shaming. It's almost full time jobs. Wait, are we talking about the tokens or YouTube? YouTube is is definitely a full time job. How come tokens earned on other reserves don't count as an overall total? Um, they're specific to each reserve, specific to each souvenir shop. That is by design. Uh, you know, you may uh, it, it's it's to keep it relevant to that reserve, right? gonna cough <clears throat> sorry yeah and, and it is by design um i i would i would prefer to let our our designers talk more in depth as to the full decisions behind that um but i would say there's lots of considerations to it and it, it's safer keeping it located on that one but but i would very much like to use my tokens elsewhere especially my golds um and i know i've seen it in discord and i've even heard the devs talking about it so add your voice to those those forum posts the existing ones that have the upvotes and such uh because they're definitely uh really under the eye of the devs it, you know nothing's ever set in stone and anything is possible especially you know with this game being so, so early in its in its life love this game but are the challenges fixed as i stream this game um as i stream right now the challenges are not fixed we had to pull the challenges and the legendaries due to uh, some actually some big issues that were happening. So we the team that that took all of our QA's attention and uh, they spent a lot of time on it. Uh, I know that they have a fix coming for that and they will be up again here very very soon. Uh, they're going to be coming in the next update. We're going to roll through the fix and uh, that's not very far away. It's not very far. We want to get it out as quick as we can. 
Okay, we know the importance of the dailies, of the weeklies, of the legendaries. It uh, it kind of puts us to the hits the brakes, right? Yeah. Does depth matter for the lures? Um, depending on the fish. Depending on the fish. There, there are certain tendencies for fish, certain behavior that the AI has in where you will find them. And, and uh, so, yes, it does matter. Yeah, yeah Lady Nibiru, there was uh, a lot of low-key changes, some big ones, too. Um, everything just keeps moving in this great tra trajectory. And, uh, it's, it's because of our community, man. It's because of the feedback we get from our players, from our player council. Um, I, and it's, you know, it, it, God, I just, I, I love how great our community is at, at putting it out there. You know, I see other games and they're like, they're like this and that and fix this now, or I swear to God, I'm going to come over there. You know what I'm saying? That's not a way to deliver it. Our community, man, maybe it's just because the patience of a fisherman, the patience of an outdoorsman. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why our community is just great. They're great at delivering it. Um, and when it's delivered well, the team sees it, team hears it. Maybe that's it. Maybe word got out, you know, catch more bees with honey kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it's definitely a community I take a lot of pleasure, a lot of pride at being involved in. You know, I very seldomly see a comment I need to delete because it's too rude. You know, hey. I think everyone just realizes maybe that's because we've they've been out on the streams they've been involved people realize they're dealing with humans maybe that's it i don't know but you guys man seriously seriously i take my hat off to you all oh god i took my hat off hat head it's terrible please don't hit my rod while i have my hands off the control i did it hit no no it was just digging wasn't it and I couldn't hear it. But seriously, man. I'm not trying to get sappy, but... Y'all make it easy. What happened? Well, Razor, what did I miss, brother? Were we upset about? Only one level away from getting the level 90 real. Nice real, by the way. Just had to grind through some salmon and carp. Gotcha, gotcha. Fish on, that's right. It could be cold and the sun could be shining. What did it? What? Roba? <laughs> I mean, yes, it can't be. Well, oh, Crow retracted a message. I'm concerned. Dax, have you ever fished for some of the huge sturgeon available in Cannibal? I have, flat out. I have, and I need this in game. I've uh, I've urged our community to go watch some vi some some uh, some VODs. The mighty Fraser River, sturgeon fishing. British Columbia. Thank me later. It will blow your mind, and I've done that. Um, I've been out on the, on on. Uh, I've been on a handful of tours. It's not cheap, but you get in a jet boat, man, and you hang out in the jet boat because it gets the currents pretty heavy on the Fraser. Um, but you're pulling in dinosaurs. These things are freaking massive, massive, like not like this shovel nose sturgeon. Like I'm talking. Typically, when you get a sturgeon on, if you're lucky enough to hook one. They have to bring you to the shore. You jump out into the water and you go onto the shore. You go onto the beach and your buddies need to help you lift it for a picture. It's wild. I have a pic somewhere. I'll see if I can find it. Wait, are you saying real? Do I have something on? No way. Do I have a little guff on there? I've got no action. Are you trolling me, Cappy? I feel like I just got trolled. I can, so I'll tell you, there the team's always talking about different locations, and and like so many get get considered. And uh, I remember when they were looking at at Spain and what. Oh my God, there was one on there. I just sat there for the rest of the stream. Thank you, Cappy. I trolled myself. Um, and when, of course, I saw the suggestion of Canada, I was like, oh, give me my sturgeon, give me my steelhead, give me my springs, you know, like for real, man. And uh, I do a lot of kokanee, or a lot of, I used to, I used to. I used to have a, a 
a cabin on the Sunshine Coast, and our lake was stocked. And uh, we, were, we fished all the time, all the time, and it was incredible, especially when the salmon would spawn through there. Um, but if it was pink, you had to let it go. And I would just love that, that fishing in-game. I'd love that terrain. I really would, but uh, I also have a need. I have a need for being able to fish in places that I don't get to IRL. But I was super happy when I saw we were doing Spain. Super happy about what's coming next. Super, super happy. And I, I know the community will be too. I've actually seen it requested. I've seen people ask for exactly what they're working on, so it's cool. I got to be Mama, I thought, Mama Kiwi, I, I thought I had a hit, but I wasn't putting it on, and then there was no action, it wasn't moving. Yeah, it can get you, it can get you. It really can. So my friends, just a big reminder, uh, if you are a fan, a fan of The Hunter, we will be starting the Apex Hunter Comp next Tuesday. We will be live with it. Uh, we will still do our Wednesday Angler stream, I do believe. Do we have any EW in, in, uh, in, in I believe we're, we're, we're a go for that. Uh, I, I, I think it's on me and yes, I want to do it. So uh, Tuesday is the qualifiers for Xbox. Wednesday will be another fishing stream. Thursday will be the Xbox stream with the qualifiers for PlayStation the, the following Tuesday. Then that Tuesday will be the PlayStation hunt with the qualifiers for PC. Bada boom, bada bim. But I would recommend showing up to each event especially if you're trying to get the qualifiers for the next one uh because maybe we can push it and do qualifiers maybe we could do all the qualifiers on tuesday that would be hectic and a whole lot of fun uh you can expect two hour long streams tuesday thursday for the next two consecutive weeks and then uh wednesday will be uh for the next two weeks will be more angler event uh, it's a lot of streaming but i'm looking forward to it i love getting out there with everybody uh you guys made this real a lot of fun we didn't catch a single not even one sunfish in this diamond sunfish location <clears throat> it's um i promise that you can get them here but as with diamonds they are extremely rare and certain locations aren't necessarily loaded with all of your silvers and golds and diamonds oh my my friends if you haven't done so make sure to follow us across all of our socials the elon musk messaging thing formerly known as twitter of course all the meta sites um get just everything follow us wherever you can keep up to date on all the news uh, it actually supports us as well and helps us uh, with uh what we're able to bring to you guys you'll understand more about that in uh, the coming year and what i'm talking about we have a lot lined up you're not going to want to miss out i strongly suggest coming and getting into the discord if you haven't done so already there are links in the description of the youtube um nightbots throwing it out there steady of course if you get in game you can get to the discord link right from the main main landing screen hope to see you all there good luck on this week's king of the cats i can't wait to see who takes it and uh yeah i don't want to end the stream man i really don't i really don't but i got some things i got to get done it's release week for the for the hunter which has been going great go get your doggo if you haven't already we'll catch you guys soon man much love from your bearded brother did i hit the right buttons at the end i did look at that i'm almost like a pro almost not quite Absolutely. See you in the Discord. Appreciate you all hanging out, man. Appreciate you all hanging out. Yeah, it's not easy to do mouse and keyboard support, man. It's really quite difficult. We need those platforms to uh, open it up a little. Pleasure, Matowski. Pleasure. Wolfman, man. Catch you later, brother. Take safe. Be careful. Yes, sir. Mr. MD. Bye, man.